Hi, Nathan here. I am creating this video for those who just want everything to be free, for those who want to create a website or who want to blog for free. Well, this video is for you. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Now, below this video, I have a link. So all you have to do is to click on that link and this will bring you to now this is a free web hosting that will host your WordPress and you can create your professional good looking website for free including domain name and uh, your hosting so the first thing to do is to sign up for free so just click sign up for free and of course uh, we will select here get for free because this is what the video is all about how to get all free because we want free stuff right so just log in with your sign up with your email and the password website name basically you can type anything here um, because we will change this with our domain anyway now as you can see this will give you a, a name similar to this uh, but you don't have to worry about that because we will be changing that with a another domain, right? We will make it professional looking. So you just verify. All right. So after that, um, they will send you a verification. You need to verify your email. So in order to verify, just click to confirm, verify email. All right. Once it is verified, you can now log in using your email and the password, your nominated password. Just type it in and then hit log in. Here is our domain. We are now inside our hosting uh, account or free web host. Now, next thing to do is to click build website and then install WordPress and we'll assign a username for our uh, WordPress installation. I'll name the admin as Nathan and I'll put my password. And this is this will be the URL. So just hit install. Just like that, our WordPress installation is running and all you have to do is to wait. All right, now it says congratulations. It's ready. Your WordPress is now ready for configuration. So let's click go to configurations page. And this will bring us to the login. And we'll put our, our nominated password and the admin name. And I'll just hit log in. All right, now this is our WordPress dashboard. Now, if you have followed my previous tutorial on the step-by-step -step how to create a web WordPress website, you might be familiar with WordPress, right? So next thing to do is go to, uh, if we will visit our site, I can open this link in a new tab. This will be the current look of our website using a default theme of a uh, web host app, All right? So, now we will change this into a drag and drop system and we will install Astra. All right. So we want everything to be free. So I will add Astra theme. But you might be interested in using Divi because, you know, uh, Divi is really my number one builder. I really like it. I love it. So if you haven't uh, already, you might want to visit one of my video. I'll put that in the link to consider uh, getting Divi because it's really good for business All right so we'll look for Astra theme just search Astra type it in and here it is All right so it's installed so let's let us activate Astra theme now the reason why we're installing Astra because this has something to do with ready-made templates that also brought to us by Astra and it, it will be it's only possible if we have the Astra theme activated. Go to plugins then add new plugins. 
and then this time install Elementor. Elementor. Elementor is a drag and drop website builder. Okay, so this is also free, so just install that. Click install. Whoa, that's a lot of people using. All right, click activate. Okay, so Elementor is there, it's activated. And now for the last installation, we'll install another one. Click add new. And then look for Astra Starter. It will be Astra Starter Size, all right? So this is a plugin. Uh, the previous one we installed is a theme. This time it's a plugin, all right? So let's activate, install and activate. Now it's installed and activated. All right, now once Astra is activated, Astra Starter Sites, let's click C Library. Okay, and then click Elementor. And here, click Free. Now we want free, so we click Free here. And then the next thing to do is to select your template. Okay, select any template that you want. Now, I'm planning to create a, a website for my online portfolio, so I think this would do it. So I'll just preview that. This looks cool, very cool, very clean and beautiful. So I will just install that. I'm installing Contact Form 7 because uh, Contact Form 7 is required. And then at the bottom, click Import this site and then just hit OK and then wait while all the files are being imported in your web host right so currently we have this very beautiful website now I like it a lot so next thing what we are gonna do is to make this our own so let's just close that and go back to our dashboard and click all pages right so here it is and click edit with Elementor alright so we can now start to edit editing is very simple you just place your cursor and then select the areas where you want to edit and start editing right so we can also change the image here the image is on this section as you can see this is a background image we can click this area here and this will give you all the options for this particular section now we can change the layout the content width you can play around with this one and you can also change the style anything to do with the design you can delete this one and change with your own. Voila, it's there. Yeah. So basically that is it guys. You just change from the logo uh, and you can also insert your own. Uh, you can change this or even design your own. You can even design from scratch. You can change everything here with the image again we can delete that image and add our our own now I like to upload a lot WordPress site All right so you basically can just uh, play around and change the settings and everything here and um, that's it all right so let's visit our website we'll go to the front end and see how it looks right now we have a very good looking website now assuming everything was changed this is really looking very good and also this is also responsive we have a good and beautiful design our website very nice very cool the next thing we do is to get a free domain name so in order to get a free domain name just go to www.dk and this is where we will get the free domain and I will teach you how to set up to set up everything so let's find for free 
WordPress hosting. And then we click check availability. You can see CF that TK and GA and, and uh, GA is not available, but we have two other domains that are available. So I'll be using ML, right? So because this is more of you know ML milliliters, it's it's more it's more memorable. So I'll just select that. So it's been selected. Then I'll just click check out. So my total is zero in my cart, right? Because it's free. I'll select 12 months or it's one year free. All right, so we'll just click continue. And then it says the, our bill is zero. That's great. And click verify your email. Now we can then go to services and my domains. You will see that here is the domain that I added. Okay? So we can click manage domain and then click management tools and then name servers and click use custom name server. So this is where we will put the custom name server. So we go back to our web host, which is 000 web host, and we go to set web address and then buy, buy domain but we're not actually buying it's just a trick for you to buy but you can actually use your own domain so click on domain and what is the domain it will be this domain free wordpress hosting.ml and then i'll just paste that in and i'll hit park domain so it's park we can click manage we check name servers uh, what we need to do in order for this to activate is to use the name server of web host 00 web host okay so in order to do that we need to put this name servers of our domain name server one and the other name server name server 2 place that in and then change name servers okay so what we need to do is to change address of you know this is still our original address so we can go to the admin area by typing wp slash admin to go to the back end of our website we can go inside Okay, and what you need to do next is go to settings in general and then change the address of your WordPress site. We'll change this to https or maybe we can we don't have SSL for it yet, so we can use this address and then hit save. Okay. Once setting is saved, we can go to this domain now. Right, we have our free website, free WordPress website, and our free domain as well. So isn't it great guys? All you have to do is to uh just edit this to make all the contents yours and yeah you have your free web host you're running with a very powerful cms which is wordpress so basically you can add a plugin have anything that you can do uh, with a premium web host you can do it here so you can try this one you can have a free wordpress website uh, everything for free for you to enjoy. So how did it go? Were you able to create your blog site already? Please let me know by leaving a comment below and please share this video and if you want to be notified, uh, subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon so that you will be notified of future videos that I will be releasing. If you want to learn how to create 
professionals and do web development for clients and for companies in order for you to have your business. Now I would encourage you to please visit, click that link below and I'll see you there. Bye-bye.